Hello everyone, hope you are all doing great. Welcome back to Web3 with Benny. In this tutorial, we're gonna find out how we can use multi-call smart contract to batch the RPC calls or batch the smart contract reads on the front end level using the APIs which is provided by Wagme. This tutorial follows the last video that we have created and we have learned how to use Web3 model which handles all the connectivity between your crypto wallet and your Web3 frontend application. Don't worry if you have missed or you haven't watched that video yet. I'm putting it as a reference in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Let's get right into it. All right, all right. Before I step into the technicalities and coding section, I'm gonna give you a context on the topic. What is multi-call smart contract? For those who don't know multi-call smart contract, I'm gonna give you a brief explanation of the usages and the benefits of multi-call smart contracts. But keep in mind that this tutorial, we are not focusing on the smart contract side of multi-call. We are gonna use that and utilize that on the front-end application. So um, this is a main website for multical tree and you which is multicaltree.com. Here you can see the deployment address of this contract, all the deployments on various chains, over 100 chains that are supporting multical a smart contract. And here you can see the ABI and all those sort of things and you need to interact with. And here is the documentation. You can see the main repository on GitHub for multiple smart contract. If you head into the SRC folder, and you can see multiple tree that soul contract, which includes all the functionalities related to this smart contract. Going back to readme file and see the usages of this contract. Batch contract reads. This is the main topic of today's tutorial batch contract rights and here are deployment addresses abi and some security points and development perspectives if you want to add something on this repo and some gaff gas golfing techniques so purposefully for this tutorial we are picking this topic and this section so basically multiple smart contract batch all the ethereum it call rpc request to one single request and on the return side you're expecting to receive multiple result of multiple smart contract so based on the documentation this allows a single it call json rpc request to return the result of multiple contract function calls so here are some benefits that documentation has mentioned which is reduce the rpc usage and therefore cost and reduce the number of round trips between the client and the node which is significantly improve the performance of your front-end application so here are some libraries that are natively supports multiple tree contract and here you can see the function that we are going to call for batching the read calls, which is aggregate tree, which exp expect call tree struct array as a an parameter. And on the result side, expect result array uh, struct for the return side. So here you can see some explanation and definition of these two structs. So let's go to the Wagme library. So here is the main page of Wagme. Uh, let's get started with and go to multi-call um, multi contract. So he's, here, this is the main page for multi-call action for batching of multiple functions on a contract in a single RPC call via the multi-call tree contract. So here where you can import multiple function on Wagme from add Wagme slash core. And here you can see some documentation on how you can interact with this function. 
So as you can see here, there are a bunch of configuration on the contract level that you want to call to. So basically the address of that contract and the ABI. And here in the, uh, in the multi-call function, it receives config, which we will recover later. And it accepts an array of contracts, which this configuration address, ABI, like we have defined above. And last but not least, this is a function name, which function you are going to call on the multi-call con uh, contract. Basically on that contract that you are willing to call. So, so this is simply saying that go to gotcha contract and pick up this function and call that. And there is one more interesting thing is what if a function that we are calling to uh, accepting some arguments. So basically you can define args as an array and you can in order um, define all the, all the arguments that you want to pass through this um, function. So here is all the things that I wanted to mention here. Let's get right into the coding section. All right, all right. Here is a coding section. For this tutorial, I picked one of the Web3 front-end templates, which includes all the wallet connectivity configurations and all those sort of configuration in it. So basically, I would suggest to use Web uh, this command to use this template. Otherwise, you can configure it manually or if you want to adopt it in your front end you can go to see the last video that we have talked about all those sort of topics so basically if you want to grab this command you need to go to wallet connect docs and web3 model v3 section and grab this address and paste it in your terminal and by doing that it would be seamless everything so let's get into the code. Here you can see a Next.js application, SRC folder, pages, and underline app.tsx, which is the most important part and component or function on Next.js. Here you can see the templates and configuration like chains array. And don't forget to grab your project ID from cloud.walletconnect.com. And here is some document um, configuration related to WagMe, Web3 model, or some metadata. And finally, you need to wrap up the whole components by WagMe config and passing config through. So if you go to index.tsx, you can see the home page. As you can see on the front end application, there are a bunch of information or some styles or some elements inside this page, like you can choose your um, network or even you can disconnect and reconnect again very seamless so basically in this section we are gonna use use effect hook to call multi-call a smart contract by using this SDK. So this function is coming from wagme slash core. So on the argument level, it accepts an object, which we can define contracts, which is an, which is an array of objects. This object contains an ABI like this or whatever ABI address and the function name that we want to call. So for this demo, I have created some predefined contracts like USDC contract and USDT contract. If we go to Etherscan and going to the top tokens, let's open up USDC and USDT and grab the USDT address, which is here. Paste it over here and USDC would be here. Paste it over here. So basically grabbing USDC 
like spreads and defining the function name i'm going to call the name basically usdc is a erc20 contract which is which has and contains name function which returns back the name of the token which is usdc so basically if we go to the contract read contract and um this is a proxy contract never mind and if you go to the name you will see the usd coin we are expecting to receive this on the return so and the same procedure if you want to call another thing with usdt usdt contract over here and if you say then and data for this demo i'm going to use console.log like name names and data at the end and if we go to the main page open console and here we can see the name if we refresh one more time we can see the name which includes usd coin and tether usd with one single rpc call so i'm going to extend this to using one of the function that accepts arguments so one of that is I'm using USDT. I'm going to fetch a balance of a user on the USDT site. So I'm saying get balance or balance of. Yep. And on the args, I'm saying that a wallet address. So wallet address, I'm going to picking it on the on this side on the holder side here is the list of the holders so let's grab the binance address and paste it here as an as args so let's go and see the result on the front end level so here in the names we will see that this array um, include three items so basically you can see the big number of the balance of the particular user that we have passed through the contract so furthermore on the topic we are gonna talk about another function or another custom hook which is provided by wagme library which is uh, especially built for react applications instead of calling multiple function we could use one of the custom hooks which is called use contract contract reads there is something to note that here recently wagme has been migrating from v1 to v2 so i mean the versions so basically in this tutorial i'm gonna i'm teaching the version one so there is nothing has been changed especially there are some improvement and some um function name has been changed don't worry under the hood all the concepts and all the function performs very well and there is no big difference so here you can see that one of the upgrades is changing the name of use contract reads to use read contracts so i'm just heading into use contract reads because i'm using v1 contracts so basically you can say use contract reads by for like wagme you can pass the same object as we have passed on the contracts which is an array and doing the same thing um doing the same configuration sorry here we go so
so and we could easily get rid of use effect hook because already we are using a custom hook and then this is the results and here we could easily log it on the console and we expect to see the same result as always yes results and on the data side you can see there are three array there are three items in the array you can see also a row a status there are a lot of bunch of information that you can manage your elements on your react or next.js application so that's it from this tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button let me know if there is any concern during learning this kind of topics just leave a comment below and have a great day see you with the next video bye bye